And good afternoon. I'll see whether this works. <coughs> Why is evaluation important? Because without evaluation, we don't really know what we do. Uh, we are on the, in the. Uh, we look at anecdotes, and we don't. We we uh, uh, anecdotes often tell us what how good some poor schools are, or how well certain things work, work in teaching. But you can't you can't manage by anecdotes. Uh, and that is something that one has to think about. And I find this uh, uh, video by Adichie uh, very important where she, it's in a completely different context, she talks about the fact that one does not necessarily understand another country uh, if you only have a single story about a country, but the single story is, is it often the difficulty and very often it's a single story. Everybody needs tab tablets. Uh, we have to uh, crush the unions, whatever. Uh, things of that sort uh, are so often uh, held as, as a way to deal with things. How, do we, how does uh, quantitative and qualitative evaluations interact? We recently had a f uh, we did a fairly large study trying to find, look at, uh, at the impact of, or at, the, at, the, uh, at what matters in terms of management uh, in schools, and at the quantitative level, we could not really find anything uh, because very many of those things are difficult to uh, to really uh, dig out uh, quantitatively. Uh, but at the at the qualitative level, because we had people uh, like Ursula and the, the two Nicks and and others who went in, into the classrooms and watched what happened, one could say more. And I think that often w we need that richness that quant uh, qualitative research brings uh, in order to bring, uh, to link to that perspective, that broad perspective that, that quantitative research can give, what, give us. Uh, yes, now I've done it. Uh, so uh, I have recently done quite a bit of work in, uh, 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 in the countries around us. Uh, and often they ask you, uh, you know, where should the money be shifted to? And that's a very difficult answer, uh, question to answer, if the question is, how do you get quality? If the question is simply, how do we improve equity in the system? We, we know what to do there. Uh, it's relatively easy, but that does not necessarily help us with, uh, with the quality issue. Therefore, I, what I want to do is better to uh, better understand what's going on in terms of early learning, uh, and particularly what go, goes on in the home and how that interacts with things. Uh, I recently looked at the video of a conference uh, paper presentation by Kaffenberger and, and Pritchett, and what they do is they build a model where they try to show uh, that there would be uh, more learning if you teach at the right level. Now, it's a useful model and it's a useful way of, of, of formalizing things. What puzzles me is how does one take something like that and also put it in the context of, uh, uh, of the home and of, of uh, the background from which people come? Uh, so that is where, uh, an area I would still like to work on. If one has to ask the president anything in terms of priorities, I think if we have to ask government anything in terms of priorities, measure. Uh, measuring reading fluency and measuring understanding in home language in all schools is essential if we're going to set this target of uh, every child should read. If we're not measuring it, we won't, be, we won't know whether we're making it or not. It will, again, depend on the anecdotes. So, and similarly, I think we should measure uh, the transition to English, and that means that we have to measure from before uh, we enter uh, grade four. <laughs> <laughs>